Hey everyone, Gameplay Vids 24 7 here. Welcome back to my Equinox gameplay walkthrough series for the PC. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the third episode in a row now on my channel. So I've played this game every day since it's been released, dude. I absolutely love it. And I love that you guys are enjoying this series as well. Somehow, my first part in this series has passed 120 likes. I don't know how, dude. Um, I'm just so freaking pleased you guys are enjoying. I do hope that you all do enjoy today's episode of Equinox. Please remember, grab a drink, guys. Grab food. Do whatever you have to. It's going to be a long episode. I reckon around 40 to 35 minute long episode today. Let's see what we can get up to in today's episode, okay? Do hope you enjoy. Please remember to hit that bell button, subscribe button. You know, obviously you get notified when I post videos when you hit the bell button. And yeah, like, comment, join my Discord. Social media links are in the description below, pretty much. Now, we're back here. Uh, we do have our boars from last night's episode. The boars looks like, yeah, they're doing pretty well, man. Sheep are everywhere right now. We have a pretty heavy grassland going on right now as well. Uh, it's mixed in with the forest, though, which is pretty good for us. At least we do have a forest area. Do I still have a sheep out here or anything? No, thankfully I got rid of that little sheep that I left out in the barren lands to try and unlock the boar. So that's done at least now. Um... Yeah, man, we're sitting on 74,000 DP. What should we get up to today? Let's find out. Uh, evolve the forest trees. Evolve fern. Evolve two new species of forest trees. That shouldn't be too hard, right? I mean, we have the Jup a Jupiter tree. Color trait, dark green. Okay, what's the health in this? The health is pretty low. We want one with a, quite a bit of health. So that's all pretty low right now. We don't really like that. Every, all my trees are about to die. I'm not happy with that at all. This one's probably the best one for me right now. Uh, dark green. Let's go. It's like the breed. We want dark green. 20,000. Wow. 20,000 DP for the dark green, guys. That is quite crazy. Well, ideally, we should grow a tall tree, which is dark green. Uh, dark green. And there it is right there. Speaking of it. Done. We actually got that done. Wow. Jupiter tree. Let's uh, try and unlock the species there. Hey man, if this works straight off the bat, I'm gonna be very, very happy. Uh, I, I saw so many people telling me where the species tab is and they're like, how the hell did you miss it? I don't know everyone. I read the species tab, but I did not read their dislikes for some reason on the first episode. As you can see, thanks to you guys out there, I know where the, di like the dislikes are now, okay? Just relax, it's all good now. We're back on the right track. Thank God for you two comments though, I would be screwed. Now, where is that new tree? The new tree should be somewhere on the ground here, right? Theoretically. Or should be growing somewhere. Is this it here? I reckon that's it. Yep, there it is. Jupiter tree. Cool, everyone. We got one. Okay, so... Uh, we have... Evolve the heather species. That's completed. Evolve two new species of forest tree. Uh, that's done. I need to evolve the fern species and the sage species. So... Hmm. To get that done, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to upgrade. I don't know. It's going to have to be the rosemary, right? Yes, it is the rosemary. This rosemary is about to die, though, so we don't really want to evolve that one. We want to go to a better one. Fern, color trait, dark green, and a 1, one times 10 size. Hey, that guinea pig just ate my damn little rosemary. Go away, guinea pig, you fat little pest. Okay. Sage. We do have sage there. Do I need to uh, do the sage? Let's have a look. Yes, I do. I actually do need sage. Okay. Might as well do that straight away here. Please don't die. Please don't die. A guinea pig may not eat it or a boar. I think a boar did just eat it then. I kid you not. Or it died. One of the two. That is frustrating. Alright, we can continue evolving the sage here though. So that's good at least. We'll do that now. Very nice. Okay, done it. Species evolve. Sage. So we do have sage. The sage is down here. We'll just place it in the middle of the field there. Full health as well on the sage. Great stuff. I can make a potato plant out of it. But I need an acer tree. And an 80% increase in the forest there. Or above 80% of forest. That shouldn't be too difficult really. Eventually we'll need potatoes though apparently. Now what else do we have here? A fern. I need the fern species. Where's that rosemary again? Little grass. Rosemary. Helps halfway. Good chance it's going to die though, but okay. Let's do increased size. 
Um, selective breed, increase the size. Do I make that 13% and I think it said dark green, didn't it? Yes, it did. So let's see if we can grow something nice here, hey? Size 16. And after all day, rewards has been automatically allocated to me, 5,000 DP. There's the rosemary I need there, one times, uh, times one, 13. So now I can get the fern. Done. Great stuff. I do have the size viewing on there, guys, by the way. So now it shows me that all the sizes. I think that, that is for the, the rosemary's only, is it? I think it is for the rosemary's only. Yes, it is. Neat, dude. All right, let's speed this up here. Hopefully we can get what we need. Really love this game, by the way, man. Like, I have not played a game that has made me this happy in quite a while. I don't know what it is about Equinox, everyone, but it's just such a soothing game, man. Like, you, you can just play it and relax, you know what I mean? You don't have to rush, you don't have to rage. You just sit back, relax, and yeah, build your biome and, and your world, I guess. Forest Flora and Fauna completed. 17,000 DP. Unlock two tasks and unlock fir uh, Fertry, is it? Fertry? Either way, what's the new task? Mountaineering and potato. Potato. <laughs> potato, potato. Done. So we've got two new tasks now. Back to 72,000 DP there, guys. Very nice indeed. We have that heavy grassland here, isn't it? No, that's woodland mixed with forest. Okay. So we have grassland, woodland, and forest there. Interesting, we have a whole bunch of ducks, fish life down there in a little pond. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, what else should we do here now? Fully built nests. That's for birds, carrots eaten, 0 of 10. Holly bush eaten, 0 of 20. What about the trees? Have three maple tree in the world, have three wobbly tree in the world. How do we get the maple tree now? That would, gum, uh, that would yeah, come from the, the gum tree or the oak tree? No? Apple tree maybe? Not that I can see, anyway. Hmm. Elm tree? Ash tree you can turn that into. Tall tree. Jupiter and setter, I think it is, isn't it? Chicken has caught disease. Ugh, get rid of them straight away. Of course they catch disease right before they die. No worries. Okay, well I need to try and figure it out. What can we get from this? Habitat. Abilities. Provides a nesting spot for birds. That could be quite good. So, woodland biome. We should have one here already, shouldn't we? Yeah, there's one right there. I'll turn that into a nut tree. Hmm. Oh, God! The diseases are spreading here. Get rid of all that. Nice. Lost quite a bit of ducks there, I think. I don't think that was chickens that were infected. I think it was ducks, dude. What do I hear? Acer tree. There's the Acer tree, but what can I... I need to try and figure out how to hell to get the maple tree and a wobbly tree. Unlocks tomato plant and the merry berry task. Start breeding diversi diversifying the grassland plants, flowers, and trees. So grassland, okay. Where's the grassland area? Grassland. Trees. Definitely one of these trees then, isn't it? Red maple tree. Got it from the birch tree. There you go, Ron Birch Tree. See, I'm reading now, guys, all right? I'm actually reading what the hell is going on, and it seems to be paying off quite well. We just need to find our birch trees around here. Oak tree, oak tree, birch tree. There it is. All right, here we go. Red maple tree and wobbly tree. Sheep times two, and that's about it for the wobbly tree. Where's the sheepy? Come here, buddy. Apparently, I can just move him, transplant. Yes, I can. Probably it costs DP, but that's all right, I guess. There we go. That should be it, right? Sheep times two, start breeding. Awesome! <laughs> this is all working out, dude. I'm very happy right now, seriously. An apple every day, that's done. Okay, cool. So that's paused at the moment. Why is that paused? Gra grassland biome. Grass turf. Not 70% apparently. Need to make it more grassland, okay. Put down grass turf all down here then. There we go, that's back now. See how that's back to researching? Put more grass down, equalize it a bit. And that's done. We now have a wobbly tree, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, good. Autumnal tree. Autumnal? Aut autumnal. Yeah, autumnal. I don't know. 
It's a weird name. It's Autumn Null Tree. Red Maple Tree as well. That's next. And then you get Color Trader Red and above 35 meters. How far are we off the ground here? 8 meters, 20 meters. Yeah, about up here, I think. Legit. That's what it's going to have to be. No problems. We'll plant one down. Birch tree, please. Right there. Red. It needs to be red. Selective breed. Red. 11,000 DP. That's okay. It should pay off anyway. Okay, everything's looking pretty solid right now, guys. Awesome. This area down here is doing pretty well. It's pretty much evolving on its own down there. Hmm, interesting. Okay, how's this going now? The birch tree hasn't grown anything else, I don't think. That's green, that birch tree. No problems. Ideally, it's going to try and grow a red one soon, guys, I hope. Just fast-forwarding here to see if it will. Generation 1 of the birch tree right now. Really want to get a red maple tree. Hoping this thing will start growing and spreading. That's the plan anyway. Should I, maybe should I put down some other animals or species, you know, of animals? I see there's heaps of guinea pigs running around though. It's pretty funny. Alright, so growth is almost up to 100% now on the birch tree. Once that's at 100%, we can start spreading out now. Hopefully. Come on, keep growing, game. Don't screw me over here. I mean, I guess I can technically make the rest of them try and grow red as well. Right? When it comes down to it. There we go. Two of them are going to try and grow a red birch tree. Let's see how this goes, eh? What about my animals? How are they going? Heaps of boars here. That's fine. Uh, what else we got in the meantime? Wobbly tree. We can try and get some more wobbly trees, I guess, if need be. Birch tree. Wobbly trees unlocked. So we can actually plant them down now. We'll throw down the wobbly trees then, hey? Okay, just throw them down there. There's a red one. We did it, everyone. But it's not above 35. That's okay, we'll transplant it all the way up here. That should be done. It's not red? It is above 35, isn't it? What's the altitude I just put it to? 34? Oh, game, come on. There we go, we'll put it here. <laughs> That's pretty funny, bro. Alright, no worries. Alright, so while those wobbly trees are growing... And we have the maple trees growing as well here. Should all work out pretty well. Hopefully, anyway. We're at 102,000 DP right now, by the way. That's it, done. I successfully bred a maple tree. Put them right next to each other there. Great stuff, dude. Really happy with the progress we're making on this game, man. For real. It's actually going very, very well. Now, I just have to think. Once this task is unlocked, I just need to uh, throw down three more, I think. There, that's done. Task completed. 16,000 DP unlocks the Merry Berry task, unlocks tomato plant. That's for the grassy plains, guys. Done. All right, that's all done. Cool. Now, what else should we do here? Fully built nests. Have a fully built and filled nest of eggs in the world. Uh, unlocks jungle grass. Unlocks in the jungle task. 11,000 DP. Use the chicken to breed the sparrow species. Once you got some, some sparrows, make sure they're living near some suitable trees for nest building. Trees with a long life length and plenty of branches work best. After a while, the birds will start to build a nest. Well, birch trees will do that for sure. Chicken, sparrow, diet, barley. Barley. Birch tree's been born with unusual mutation and it's purple. <laughs> Pretty cool. Where the hell do I get the barley from, though? 
And I'll need a woodland biome as well. They wish you told me, how the hell do I get the barley, everyone? What, what, hang on, let me just do something. I'm gonna search this quickly. I'm very concerned right now. Barley. Wheat, would it be? No, I would say wheat, wouldn't it? Cereal grain, apparently. Member of the grass family. We want all for lives in woodland. Tomato plant, lily, poppy, barley. Evolves from heather. There we go, we got it, dude. We've actually got it here. Awesome, Heather. Now, will Heather suit this environment here? What do you need, Heather, before I put you down? Grassland biome, spreads in it. That should be fine. Uh, grassland, yeah, that's done, okay? There we go, got some Heather now here. Dude, thank God we're starting to read stuff in this game. You guys should be proud of me, especially from the first episode. Everything's progressing nicely. Okay. Barley. Nearby species, forest trees times three. Okay, I need to put down some forest trees again. Forest, forest, forest. Do so you learn so much in this game? Stuff I didn't even know about, for real. Oak tree, birch tree. Woodland trees. Grassland trees. Grassland trees. Forest trees. Jupiter. Throw them all down here. Hopefully it's a good environment for them. I don't know if it was or not. That's alright. Start breeding the barley. Nice! We're getting somewhere. Okay. That's done. I've got a barley, everyone. There's an expert birch tree down here. Alright. The Mr. Birch tree. What can I do? Peacock! The duck can turn into a peacock, everyone. Need a healthy chicken, they're all dying. All my chickens are dying. Diet's barley, yes, I know, game. Okay, woodland. A fir tree? That's snowy. Good tree for the starting of creation of a snow biome. There you go. I don't have snow just yet. Uh, where are we? We have the fern there, that's for jungle and barley. Put that all down here. Fantastic. We're on 100,000 DP right now, everyone. Things are looking good for us. Sparrow, diet, barley. Oh yes, you have your bloody barley there, game. But you don't have 30% increase on woodland, do you? What's the woodland? 10% right now here. That could be the problem. Woodland. So if I start getting rid of the grass... What do you reckon get rid of the grass a bit? Let's put a magnifying glass on it. Remove. 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 Getting rid of some of the grass here. I want to make it more woodland, if possible. Don't know if it's going to be possible or not. That's a lot of grass being removed now. What's woodland now? Woodland's 14, 20% up here. Need more woodland. Uh, where are we? Woodland, here we go. Barley, the tree, fern. Fern will help a lot. Okay, so grow the ferns up. Woodland's 21%. We need to get rid of these. Strip the grass out, I think, completely. Okay. We don't want grass around here. I want woodland stuff. Woodland's at 24% now, 29% at the top there. Get rid of all the grass. Where the hell's another chicken? Chicken's down here. Move the chicken there. 
Barley. There's no barley nearby. There's wheat there. Buttercup. Hmm. It's going to be a bit more difficult than I thought, eh? Well, we do have the barley now, at least. The grass is just overpowering me in this area. The grass is just absolutely everywhere right now. Spread all around. Where's woodland? Where the hell's my woodland area? Grassland, forest. Woodland. Woodland, here we go. 33. 38% woodland here. Put down the barley. Put down some chickens. Let's see how this goes. Move the grass out a bit. I hope this works. I really do. Sparrow. There we go. We did it. I was, I was constantly fighting against the bloody grassland. That's why that happened, everyone. There's something for you to learn. That should be it now. Yep, that's it. Species evolved. Sparrow. Got a little sparrow on my hand. Put him next to the birch tree. There you go, little sparrow. Now he's very happy. Good stuff, dude. Toucan and dove we can evolve it to as well. Sparrow's going in the water, apparently. No worries, just don't drown and kill yourself. And that's all good. Put down a whole bunch of sparrows now in the field. Make sure there's enough barley. That's it. We're out of money now, that's okay. Get rid of the sizes there. Done, guys. That's it. Task complete. An apple day. What about the birch tree? Birch tree's there. Got a purple birch tree there. That's pretty cool. Okay, fully built nests. I have to wait for the nest to be built. I need the, the birds to actually grow. The birds are all flying around now. It's awesome. It's very, very cool. They're in the trees, but they're not doing any nests just yet. I do like how they're in the trees, though. It's very neat. Hopefully a nest will come to be. Yeah, that's it. Done. We've done it. There's the nest. How cool is that? In a pink, bloody tree. That's awesome. Get a nice photo of that if I can. <laughs> that is how it's done, everyone. Okay, fully built nest. Claim reward. 11,000 DP in the jungle task and jungle grass. Now we can do jungle grass to make things a lot easier to build a jungle. Okay, what's the next task anyway? Berry bush eaten. Unlock the berry bush and create a suitable area for it to grow in. Place some sheep in the area. Make sure they eat their fill of berries. Have a sheep eat five berry bush. Unlocked yucca or yucca. I think it's yucca. Unlocks the deserted task. 7,500 DP. Okay. We need to get the berry bush. No problem. Blueberry bush. Berry bush. Unlock evolves from a tomato plant. Okay, Mr. Tomato Plant, what do you like? You like grassland and woodland. Alright. So you'd be good down here then in woodland. Put a whole bunch of tomato plants in. This chicken's hungry apparently. Apparently my chickens are hungry. I transplant them down here then if they're hungry. That's not good. I don't want them starving. There we go. They're all good now, I think. Now tomato plants are growing, or they're in the back. I think in a bad environment. Don't say that. Altitude factor poor. Oh my god, that's brutal. What altitude factor do they need? I really have to keep looking at the altitude factor, don't I? They need below 15 meters. 20-20. Down here. It just costs so much money to transplant them now. I think I just ruined that whole batch of tomato plants. Legit. They're all going to die. Whoops. That's totally my fault, by the way. The other tube is too high for the tomato plant. There's not much I can do about that either. Damn it, man. That's brutal. That'll teach me for sure. I'm always going to make little mistakes like that, by the way. 
part of learning the game, I guess. That's no problems, right? We're on sixteen thousand, seventeen thousand dollars right now, or DP, should I say? So we got those red trees growing up there, by the way, the maple trees. I just noticed we don't have any carnivores still, do we? No carnivores whatsoever. Pretty sure I lost all the tomatoes, by the way. Really wouldn't surprise me if I did. Oh no, we still got one. We got one tomato plant. That's the only one left out of everything I just planted then. That is brutal. Okay. So let's have a look here again. Grassland, woodland below 15 meters. Grassland, woodland. It's too high here. Way too high. Here's a good spot. Maybe. That says dry land, doesn't it? That should, that should be fine, actually. Let's try this again. That should be better, right? Yes, it is. Much better. That is how you do it. Alright. Let's grow these tomatoes up now. It wasn't a complete disaster, everyone. We did learn how to do that again. Cool. Okay. Tomatoes are growing up nice here. Beautiful. Just remember, we have to try and evolve them when possible. Pink colored trait, minus 10 grassland. Wow, minus 10 grassland. That's definitely not going to happen there. I know that much for sure. That's barren land down here. So I need woodland. That's what I need mainly. Let's have a look. Grassland, woodland. Yep. Definitely needs woodland mainly. Fern. I can put a whole bunch of ferns. What do they like though? Unsuitable biomes. Desert, jungle, swamp, lush, forest and woodland. Okay, so first I guess we can put down the grass here. Which there already is grass here, theoretically. Uh, forest. Forest, 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 forest. Forest. Grass, that's done. Daisies. Let's up on the daisies around here. Buttercups. Tulips. Oak tree. Forest tree. Woodland tree. What do we need? Do we need just woodland trees for that tomato plant? Gotta remember. It's all. Lives in... Woodland, tomato, yeah, here we go, woodland. Okay. And a fern as well is what I'm gonna put down here. We have the heather there, fern. Okay, that should be woodland now, right? Grassland, woodland, yes it is. But I don't want grassland, we need to get rid of the grass. That's what I reckon we will do. Heaps of grass around. Remove, remove. Remove. I'm gonna try and ditch all this grassland incoming here. I'm gonna try and separate it from our woodland. We don't want any grass around here at all. Grass loves to spread. I see any issue with it. See how it's spreading onto my land again? Alright, what are we now? Grassland's 33% still. What is it now after deleting that? Grassland's 35%, 33%. I can technically put it here. But it needs to be below 15 meters as well. What's this one? We're 22. Where's 15, 15, 15? Altitude, we need the best altitude. It's all too high. 15's there. 14 right there. We can get the tomato plant in right there, guys. Let's see how this is going to go down. I want to try something new. Okay, watch this. 15, 14. Is that in the right spot? That is, that is in the right spot. Legit, it is in the right spot. Oh my god, you're kidding me. And the tomato plant died. This is going to be hard, isn't it? Oh boy, grass turf. 
What was the health of that tomato plant that I just put down? That's what I'm not too sure about. Health's very low there. Terribly low. Altitude factor's poor. That's why. Altitude's very poor, apparently. It's just not going to work. It needs to be below 15. Just don't know how the hell to do it. We have too much grassland everywhere. That's any problem, bro. Way too much grassland. No more... Well, the altitude... Yeah, the altitude's just so low. We have barren land down here, at least. We have the woodland out here as well. Expand that all the way out. Because I was hoping to do something with it, but it's not working the way I wanted it to. Altitude's 14. That's definitely not going to work. Could spread down here, I guess, technically. Five meters. We could just try and spread down here, I guess. Which I reckon we will try and do here. And put one tree down. Alright, so I'm just trying to expand out a bit more here. Technically, the tomato plant should live down here properly. That's the way I look at it. Should have better stats. Yes, it has much better stats down here. Alright, so we cracked the code, everyone. There you go. Good stuff. Excellent, man. Okay. Just need to have enough money for a berry bush. Need to change it to pink color. Pink's $15,000. Jesus Christ, game. <laughs> You're not mucking around, are you? All right, I just went to the pink spec there, guys. Tomato plant's slowly dying out, though, by the looks of it. That's what I don't like to see, of course. No, it's still alive, thankfully, at the moment. Just because the environment around it is still surviving. There's a fully grown tomato plant. Will that start spreading? I really, really hope so. I think it is right there. Rosemary. No, that's rosemary. Damn it. Come on, game. Give me a pink one. Seriously. It's not looking too promising right now. We haven't grown yet. Don't know if they actually grow or not. It's on its own still. It hasn't grown out yet. Yes, it did. Oh, cool. Don't know if it's pink, though, or not. Yes, it is pink. We did it. We got the berry bush. Wow, that was nice, man. It's cool figuring that out. I like that. Got another tomato plant up the top here as well, somehow. Chickens caught disease. Oh, wow, all my chickens are freaking sick. Remove. 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 And remove. Oh, whoops, wrong thing. Remove. There we go. Put down some more chickens. Reinforce the front line there, guys. Okay. So my berry bush is now unlocked, is it? Yes, it is. Berry bush unlocked. Excellent. We're getting places here, guys. We're actually getting places. Now, the game does want me to put some sheepies down here as well. Just so it eats the berries. I reckon I might put down some more berry bushes, maybe. 12,000 DP. Wow. The game is not messing around with those costs. That's all right. I'll put down another berry bush there. Excellent, bro. Sheep are going okay as well with their environment and stuff. You have the three sheep. Just wait for those berry bushes to grow eventually. Let me just turn off the, the view here. Done. Night time right now in our land. I love how much our area is growing, man. It's pretty cool. Right, the berries are on the tree. Yes, they are. Can I release them? I guess the game does it on its own. No worries. Sheepies are eating here. It did say the sheep like to eat the berries. Yes, it did. There we go. Done. All right, we did it, everyone. Merry berry unlocked. Or completed, should I say. Have a sheep eat five berry bush. Done. Got yucca. Deserted task and 7,500. Yucca species. A small spiky plant that grows in the desert. This is the most basic desert plant in uh, Equinox. And it's a good place to start when creating a desert biome. Cool, well, I'm not creating a desert biome anytime soon, I don't think. 
So either way, we can evolve the rabbit to a uh, guinea pig into a rabbit. Okay, ash tree we need and satisfaction 85%. Where the hell is the ash tree? Ash tree. Haven't unlocked that apparently. Grassland. Pansies, carrot. Wild mint the carrot comes from. Ash tree evolves from the elm tree. I need a 80% woodland biome for the elm tree. I know we don't have any woodland down there, but we do have woodland up here. Woodland, 40%. 46%. 63% woodland. Forest is 29. I do want more woodland though. What's giving me the forest? Not too sure, but either way. Lives in biome. Woodland. Here we go. Okay, so... Put barley down, that's definitely woodland related. Elm trees. Rosemary, probably more rosemary. Make it more woodland. Oregano. Woodland trees, this is definitely woodland. Right, this should be heavily woodland now, 72%. Still do have some forest traits here though. I'll wait for the trees to grow up here a bit. I do want to get that tree here if I can. Seventy nine percent woodland, seventy eight percent. So, what is it for that tree? What is it to evolve the tree again? Elm tree. I think it's eighty percent for an ash tree. It is too. Flowers times three, eighty percent woodland. Let me transplant this. Right there. 80% woodland increase. What are we on right there? 78%. You're kidding me. 78%, bro. Ferns. Put down the ferns there. And that should definitely bump it up. Surely. What are we on now? 69%, 71%. The ferns must have decreased it. That's not good. That's not what I wanted. Yeah, 78%. So the ferns decreased that. Oakland. Yes, yeah, so that's woodland. Oregano, herbs, small plants, woodland. Rosemary. Forest biome. There's that freaking cause of it, I reckon. Let's remove this. Remove a lot of the rosemary. That should be done now, surely. Ash tree, not enough DP. We got it though, we did it, we did it. Awesome. This is not enough DP right now. 20,000 I think it is. 22,000. That's all good, bro. Come on, game. What's the health on this? Pretty good health still. Gonna take this away. Chicken's caught disease again. Need 22k. Come on, game. Let's probably deal with that disease, shouldn't I? Where's the disease? Nowhere there, I don't think. Down here? Nah. This one's not disease, I think it's just sick. Can't supply him down there. Okay, anyway. Not enough DP still, almost there though. One twenty-two, almost here guys. Done, start breeding. Excellent. We got it, bro. Shouldn't have put Rosemary down. My bad. Okay. Cut back on that Rosemary a bit. That's it. We've done it. We got an ash tree. 
I don't know where the hell the ash tree likes to be, but either way. I know the rabbits. Oh, I need to get guinea pigs near ash trees, I think. Pretty sure that's how it worked. Rabbit. Ash tree times two. There's one. Ash tree is 22,000, guys. Holy hell. Game is not playing around, is it? Just waiting to cash in here. We're on 15,000 now. Awesome. I do know my chickens hate the, uh, the trees, but they'll survive, surely. Alright, 22 grand there. Ash trees there. Put down another ash tree, that's done. Satisfaction, 85% we need for satisfaction. He likes herbs and flowers, grassland, forest, woodland. So he needs more herbs and flowers around here, I guess. Put a whole bunch of daisies. He should be ready. He is ready. 9,000, everyone. We can do it. We can actually do this here. Make a rabbit. For the first time. Done. Start breeding the rabbit. Awesome, man. Everything's working out for us here. Buttercups and born with a strange mutation. Okay, what's the strange mutation? It's blue. Hmm. Cool stuff. Well, the rabbit's almost going to be done soon, I think. So that's good for us. Size is spread out everywhere. That's it, got a rabbit. Here's my little rabbit. <laughs> cool stuff. Bunky, his name is. Desert hare and beaver. Cool. Rabbits are 9,000 each. Put down two rabbits and they can hopefully breed one day soon. Alright. Well, that's awesome, man. We've done it. We've done really good today. I'm very happy. Got a lovely biome going on now. A lot of green on the map. A lot of stuff being done right now, but that wasn't done before, obviously. Cool, man. Alright, well, look. I'm going to wrap it up here, everyone. Thank you very much for tuning in to another episode of my Equinox gameplay walkthrough series. You guys are amazing out there, as always. I hope you did enjoy. Just remember, I do post daily, so, yeah, if you want to see more, show your support, uh, as always, by hitting that like button, commenting, joining Discord, and hit the bell button, alright? Thanks, everyone. I'll speak to you all tomorrow. See you around.